Pharmacological Approaches in the Management of Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, COPD COPD is a chronic respiratory disease characterized by persistent airflow limitation, which is not fully reversible. It is a leading cause of morbidity and mortality worldwide, placing a significant burden on healthcare systems. The management of COPD involves a multidimensional approach, including smoking cessation, pulmonary rehabilitation, and pharmacotherapy. In this script, we will explore various pharmacological interventions used in the treatment of COPD and their mechanisms of action. Triple therapy refers to the combination of an inhaled corticosteroid, ICS, a long-acting beta agonist, LABA, and a long-acting muscarinic antagonist, LAMA, in a single inhaler. This approach aims to target multiple pathways involved in COPD pathophysiology, providing enhanced bronchodilation and anti-inflammatory effects. The LABA component works by stimulating beta-2 adrenergic receptors, leading to bronchodilation. The LAMA component blocks the action of acetylcholine on muscarinic receptors, reducing bronchoconstriction. Together, these medications provide synergistic effects, improving lung function, symptoms, and quality of life in patients with COPD. Macrolides, such as azithromycin, have gained attention for their potential therapeutic role in COPD management. Beyond their antimicrobial properties, macrolides possess immunomodulatory and anti-inflammatory effects. They inhibit the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, reduce oxidative stress, and attenuate neutrophilic inflammation in the airways. These properties can lead to a reduction in exacerbation frequency and improved health outcomes in selected COPD patients. Antimuscarinics or muscarinic antagonists are a group of medications commonly used in the treatment of COPD. They competitively block the action of acetylcholine on muscarinic receptors in the airways, preventing bronchoconstriction and reducing mucus production. Two main classes of antimuscarinics are available, short-acting and long-acting. Long-acting antimuscarinics, LAMAs, offer sustained bronchodilation over a prolonged duration, improving COPD symptoms and lung function. The identification and monitoring of biomarkers in COPD have gained importance in recent years. Biomarkers, such as eosinophilic and neutrophilic cell counts, C-reactive protein levels, and fractional exhaled nitric oxide, FeNo, can provide valuable insights into disease severity, response to treatment, and prognostic outcomes. Additionally, the presence of certain biomarkers may aid in tailoring treatment strategies, such as the use of inhaled corticosteroids and other immunomodulatory agents. Pulmonary vasodilators, such as phosphodiesterase 5, Parade 5, inhibitors and soluble guanylate cyclus, SGC, stimulators, play a significant role in the management of pulmonary hypertension associated with COPD. These medications act by relaxing the smooth muscles in the pulmonary vasculature, reducing pulmonary vascular resistance and improving exercise capacity. They may be utilized in selected COPD patients with coexisting pulmonary hypertension to alleviate symptoms and improve overall hemodynamics. Alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency is a genetic disorder that predisposes individuals to early-onset emphysema. Replacement therapy with purified alpha-1 antitrypsin protein is the mainstay of treatment for individuals with documented deficiency. It aims to restore the protective levels of this protein, preventing the destructive effects of unopposed protease activity in the lungs. Close monitoring and appropriate intervention in individuals with alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency can help slow disease progression and improve outcomes. Inhaler devices are essential tools for the delivery of respiratory medications in patients with COPD. Various types of inhaler devices are available, including pressurized metered dose inhalers, PMDs, dry powder inhalers, DPIs, and soft mist inhalers, SMIs. Each device has unique advantages and considerations regarding proper inhalation technique, drug deposition, and ease of use. It is crucial for healthcare providers to educate patients on proper inhaler technique and device selection to optimize medication delivery and treatment outcomes. Pharmacogenomics is an emerging field that explores the impact of genetic variations on drug response and metabolism. In COPD, understanding pharmacogenomic profiles can help predict treatment outcomes, individualize drug regimens, and minimize adverse effects. Polymorphisms in genes encoding drug metabolizing enzymes, drug transporters, and drug targets can influence the efficacy and safety of pharmacotherapeutic interventions. Integration of pharmacogenomic testing into clinical practice holds the potential to improve therapeutic decision-making in COPD management. Preventing exacerbations is a crucial aspect of COPD management. The use of maintenance pharmacotherapy, such as long-acting bronchodilators, inhaled corticosteroids, or combination therapy, has shown efficacy in reducing exacerbation rates. 
Additionally, the implementation of influenza and pneumococcal vaccination has proven beneficial in reducing the risk of respiratory infections and subsequent exacerbations. A comprehensive exacerbation prevention strategy should encompass both pharmacological and non-pharmacological interventions to minimize disease progression and improve patient outcomes. Long-term oxygen therapy, LTOT, is an established intervention for COPD patients with chronic respiratory failure. It aims to alleviate hypoxemia and improve survival in individuals with severe hypoxemic respiratory failure. LTOT involves the administration of supplemental oxygen for at least 15 hours per day via nasal prongs or a face mask. Proper patient selection, adherence to therapy, and regular monitoring are essential to optimize the benefits of LTOT in COPD management. Understanding the pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic properties of medications used in COPD management is crucial for tailoring treatment regimens. Pharmacokinetics refers to the absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion of drugs, while pharmacodynamics explores how drugs interact with the body to produce therapeutic effects. Factors such as bioavailability, half-life, drug interactions, and individual patient characteristics can significantly impact treatment outcomes. Pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic principles guide dosing strategies, frequency of administration, and therapeutic monitoring in COPD management. Polypharmacy is common in COPD patients due to the presence of comorbidities and the need for multiple medications. The potential for drug interactions should be carefully considered to avoid adverse effects, reduce drug efficacy, or toxicity. Certain medications commonly used in COPD management, such as theophylline and corticosteroids, can interact with other drugs, including antibiotics and cardiovascular agents, resulting in altered pharmacokinetics or increased risk of adverse events. Awareness of potential interactions and individualized monitoring can help mitigate these risks and optimize treatment outcomes. To effectively manage COPD, a comprehensive approach involving pharmacotherapy is necessary. This video covered various medications such as triple therapy, macrolides, antimuscarinics, biomarkers, and pulmonary vasodilators, each targeting different aspects of COPD. It is essential to understand their mechanisms, possible interactions, and patient-specific factors for personalized treatment strategies.